Hello, and welcome back to another day of e-learning. Um, the first thing that I wanted to address is I had posted a couple days ago a weekly check-in like I normally do, and a lot of the responses that I've gotten said that I am assigning a lot of work and that your other teachers have been assigning a lot of work as well. Please know that some of you have reached out to me, some of you haven't. Let me know if you're behind. It's okay. I'm, if you let me know that you're behind, at least you're communicating with me. And that's what I need from you. I need you to tell me, hey, I'm a little behind. This might be a couple days late. I'm completely fine with that. I just have to follow a schedule that I have. Um, you know, it's um, nothing personal. I'm not trying to give you more work than you can handle. Just please know that this is a completely different format than what I'm used to as well. So your feedback does mean a lot to me. I've been trying to space out as much as I possibly can, but do not spend more than 45 minutes on my class. Set an alarm for yourself if you have to. And if you make it through that 45 minutes and you're not done yet, let me know. But please keep communicating with me because your feedback does mean the world to me. And I do miss you. And teaching behind a computer screen just is not the same as seeing your faces in real life. Also, a lot of you have wanted to be doing Zoom calls. Um, I'm a little hesitant because having 30 of you in one Zoom call is going to be overwhelming, at least for me. So that's why I have not done that yet. Um, what I could do is on Fridays, except for this Friday, because you all do not have to be in attendance, this or next Friday, Maybe we could just do class Zoom calls just so I can check up on you, make sure that everything is, you know, going okay. There's going to be rules with that, but I will keep you updated as I decide on what I'm doing there. For today, you should have finished your reaction time web quest as of yesterday. So that has been there since April 24th. So again, just trying to give you as much time as you need to get these done, okay? Um, but what we're gonna be starting today is a body systems presentation. So remember, we are in our anatomy unit, okay? So if you click on this, it's gonna take you to this. Now, what we normally would have done in class is we would have walked through each body system together and we would have uh, talked about all of the anatomy and how it works. But unfortunately, we are in a little bit of a hurry and we are trying to get to the rat. So my plan is I gave you 10 of the important body systems. You only need to choose one. I repeat, you do not need to do all 10. You only need to choose one. So among these, you have the integumentary system. So that's like your skin, hair, nails, and what goes into that, your skeletal system, so your bones and how they function, your muscles. I feel like that one's pretty self-explanatory. Your nervous system, so how um, axons fire and how you move and how the nervous system especially works very close with the muscular system. Uh, the digestive system, my favorite. Uh, the respiratory system, so breathing, gas exchange, all that good stuff. Circulatory system, so your blood, your heart, how blood gets pumped around the body, why that's important. The endocrine system, those are going to be like your hormones. So, um, that's just a fancy word for everything that gets released inside your body. So anything that has to do with hormones is going to be the endocrine system. Um, the lymphatic system, that's going to be the closest thing to your immune system. And then your urinary system. Uh, yeah, that one's self-explanatory too. So all you need to do is you're going to pick one system, just one. And all you need to do is answer these questions, okay? So you're gonna use the information you have researched to complete a Google Slides presentation. It could literally be a title slide and then four slides answering these questions. It does not need to be anything fancy. I just need you to tell me first of all your name 
answer these questions, and then provide me with some images, diagrams, pictures, things like that. This should not be anything super crazy. All you're doing is picking one system, answering four questions, including images, pictures, diagrams that would help explain what your system does to somebody that has no idea what you're talking about. So once you are done with this, so that's the first part of this, and that's not gonna be due until Thursday at 8 a.m. That is plenty of time to answer four questions and make a mini slideshow, okay? Once you are done with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the information that you came up with and I'm going to compile it into one big slideshow. So the second part of this project that I have not posted yet is going to be a note sheet. So whatever system you did, you're going to put here. Whatever systems you didn't do, you're going to go through and answer these questions. This is really going to help you when it comes to dissecting the rat online. You're not going to be able to do it successfully until you do your note sheet, okay? So the note sheet we will worry about later. All you need to worry about right now is making your Google slideshow. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about that, please let me know, and I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for your honest feedback. I'm going to work on doing Zoom meetings because I do miss seeing your faces and I hope that everything is okay with you. I hope that you are happy and healthy and please let me know again if you have any questions.